these people you. She said it's you. It's your time. You, you gotta go out there and execute. And that's what we did. She drew up the plan. We did exactly what she said and it worked. I just knew I had to make it. I just knew it. I had to do it for my team. We've been talking about it all week. Nobody believed in us. We the only ones we got. We came out here today and we fought. We right. was down. A lot of numbers. When we came in our head, we was like, we, this not it. Today was not gonna be my last game. Right. I promise y'all it's not this not it. This is only beginning, y'all. Talk, talk about that pride like that y'all that y'all talk about that call like y'all y'all show a lot of pride and, and a lot of resiliency in, in this game and just just kind of talk about you know what all that's about at this school having pride is just believing oh my god i can't even talk pride <laughs> is our school this is pride call 33 32 hundred drop pride that's what we are we came out here we fought we got all I can't even talk. <laughs> come on, let's go cut the nest down. Come on, come on. I'm sorry, bro. Let's go cut the nest down. Pay senior got, guard so for call, man. She, she out of words right now, man. Good game. Well, we're going to see y'all in hand. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's go. go I'm here with call girls, assistant coach, Norma Randall. Man, it's a big time victory, man. Uh, down eight in the fourth, less than three minutes left to go. I mean, your team could afford it, man. What you told your team and to keep them composed to, to pull away with this victory that they advanced to the top 28. Pride, dog. What separate us from everybody else and the way we feel is, if you was in that gym tonight, that's pride, man. That's support, man. That's the community. And that's what we believe in. We believe in keep fighting to the end. So this zero's on that clock with a four in the fourth quarter, man, we just keep fighting, man. Pride, man. That's all we believe in. You see it on our clothes. You see us putting in the hashtags. Right, you right. see it around the building. Right. Car is built on pride. And everything we do, from the classroom to being on time, to the weight room, to all season workouts, to end the season, man, we fight to the end, man. That's all we know. That's how you got to be in real life. And we building better young men and women over here. That's all we believe in is pride. Man, talk about the atmosphere. Man, the whole student body came out. A lot of alumni came out to come support your girls. Man, talk about that, man. Like, how, how they made y'all feel seeing everybody come out and support the girls' basketball team like this? To be honest with you, man, that, that it goes back to pride. And and everybody you see in the building, from the people that graduated from the start of class in 93 all the way to now to 2016, they don't know each other, but they come together as a family right. because they go to call and we're built on pride. Right. If you go to call, we're automatically a part of a fraternity or sorority type family. And that's just how we built over here, man. And you can see in the gym, it was lit from 10 minutes before the tip. Football team, baseball team, softball team, right. administration, student body, alumni, old teachers, old students. And it, it, I, I'm, I'm overwhelmed right now with words, but we got unfinished business. Last year we made it to this point and we lost to Salmon to a good Kalani Brown who's over at Baylor now. But we got unfinished business. And 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 this win is good. We'll celebrate tonight. But tomorrow we're going to get back to work, man. We're we not satisfied at all. Man, I appreciate you having this segment, with me, man. Great, great team victory, man. But you and your coaching staff and your girls' basketball team, man, I'm going to see y'all in Hammond next week. Man, Norma G Spot Randall. Sports, man. That's what we rocking with, man. G Spot Sports. <laughs> Every day at call, we rocking with G Spot, man. One. <laughs>
kudos to you to stay composed and have ice water in your veins and knock down that shot to help your team survive and advance. I will be in Hammond next week when when um, the Lady Cougars take on Ursuline. Oh, uh, that's gonna be a hell of a matchup. Ursuline is one of the most, probably one of the better teams out of all the classes for uh, high school girls basketball. They're very disciplined, can shoot the ball real good. But I think Carl is on a mission, and I think they're gonna have a real good shot to beat them to advance to the championship. Um, y'all, let me know what y'all think about these highlights. Y'all, let me know what y'all think of Carl Lady Cougars. A chance to cut down the nest in Hammond. Let me know what y'all think. It's G Spot Sports. I'm signing out.